in the next 10 years. The growth rate for electrical and electronics engineers is projected to grow by 7%. Over the next decade, this equates to approximately 22,700 roles per year on average, predicted to be up for grabs in the U.S. job market. It's great that there are abundant opportunities, but even the most skilled electrical engineer will have competition when applying for a role. Your resume may be read along with hundreds of others with a similar skill set. So it is critical to get the reader's attention and quickly. Luckily, today, we are going to break down how you can draft a great resume to make sure you are a competitive candidate for any electrical engineering opportunity. By the end, you'll have learned how to craft a resume that will quickly highlight that you are the perfect choice for this role, giving you the best opportunity of getting an interview and landing that new job. Let's get started. A standout resume should be simple, succinct, easy to read, and clearly capture why you're the perfect engineer for the job. Try to keep it to one page, but if you are more experienced, it may take up to two pages to highlight the extent of your career to date. It's helpful to divide into sections that make it easy for a prospective employer to clearly and easily engage with who you are and the skills you have. The way you format your information should be smooth, easy to read, and relevant. Bullet points can help to highlight important information. Let's begin to talk through the structure of your skills and experience. Clearly state the basics. Your name and contact details should be very easy to find. If it's customary, you may want to provide a friendly yet professional picture, but keep in mind that in some countries, such as the US and the UK, this isn't recommended due to potential discrimination risks for the company. So do your research. Follow this summary with some important facts about you, date of birth, nationality, visa status, etc. A recruiter or employer will want to quickly determine that you are appropriately educated to be a qualified electrical engineer. So make your level of certification and its date very clear. This gives an indication of how many years of experience in electrical engineering you have. Then get into some detail about your experience. Use a format that is consistent, listing your relevant employment history, starting from the most recent, company name, Dates and location should all be included. Give a brief summary of the purpose of the company and the tasks you performed as an engineer. This information should validate the depth of your experience, knowledge, and skill set. Your role summary should list your title at each company and succinctly explain the day-to-day -day demands of your role as an electrical engineer. An example of these could include design of electrical systems and control cabinets, equipment design, installation and qualification, engineering platform change management, risk management, led and executed projects on site and at other locations in collaboration with central and local resources to support the business, design systems to client specifications and project works, specification of control system hardware and automation packages, directed the work of less experienced engineers, supported projects through effective budgeting, estimating, forecasting, accounting, and work order management. Where you can, be specific. For instance, designed electrical equipment that was rolled out across multiple client locations. Think about achievements that you are proud of. Ones that impacted the success of the business will impress future employers, such as automated an engineering process that improved productivity by 15% while still meeting compliance requirements mentored a team of graduate engineers, won the Young Engineer of the Year Award. Pick the task that the job has listed as non-negotiable and highlight your experience in those areas. Keep this section short and ensure it's a relevant balance of your skills and specific achievements to make you memorable. Think about the company you are applying for and what their specific needs might be. If it's a large company, highlight your experience across multiple locations or clients. If it's a smaller organization, focus on the impact your work had on their business. This makes it easier for a business to determine your suitability for the role and leaves no question about electrical engineering experience. For a role in electrical engineering, 
it's better to include the most similar or related jobs on your record. However, some other jobs may be relevant, relatable, and desirable. If you have worked as a project engineer, for example, you have transferable skills. In this case, you should definitely include those roles in your resume. Following work experience, you should provide more detail about your education. Ensure you list anything that supports the requirements listed in the job ad. Relevant requirements for an electrical engineer include high school diploma or equivalent, higher education and or relevant qualifications in engineering. In addition, you can include other relevant experience that makes you exceptional for the role, such as short courses in design, software programs or packages, registrations or certificates, languages. Give the reader an indication of what motivates you with a short, professional and relevant personal profile. As an electrical engineer, it is worth mentioning how many years of experience you have, what programs you are proficient in, your ability to deliver client projects to specification, or what impact you want to make on the company. You can also include career goals related to the job opening, like managing your own project team or training engineering graduates, and try to make it five to six sentences long. Next, you want to summarize your skills to complement the criteria on the job ad and to reflect your electrical engineering experience. Some of the most desirable skills for an electrical engineer include ability to lead others toward a common goal, effective communicator, delivers results, deadline driven, proactive, initiative. A small section on hobbies lets the reader know a little bit more about you as a person, not just a list of skills and experience. Finally, review your resume. Check you have clearly summarized your skills and experience, aligning them to the role requirements and pay close attention to the little things. For example, it's important that your dates align with any job experience or education. Any mistakes, typos or shortcuts will have an impact on your chances to get the job. Click on the description to start building your resume today.